Hey you guys, good to see you as always here on Grassroots Garden. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you all about how to grow Nellie R. Stevens holly. I happen to have a beautiful one right here, right along the edge of my driveway. Planted this probably about three to four years ago, and the growth rate has been tremendous on this thing. So left alone, Nellie R. Stevens holly can get about 25 feet tall, about 10 to 12 feet wide. Very fast growing tree, great evergreen with incredible winter interest. One of my favorite things about this tree, look at these beautiful red berries. It just gets loaded down with them. We're uh, just after the first of the year. So all during Christmas time, you get these beautiful red berries. The birds love them. You have white flowers in the springtime. And if they get pollinated, they transition over to red during the winter. I planted this one when it was in a three gallon container and you can see how fast they grow. So I don't recommend putting them right up against your house as a foundation plant maybe off of a corner to kind of soften a corner a little bit. You can keep them maintained to whatever size you want pretty easily. Just keep in mind, they do grow very quick. And if you miss a couple pruning seasons, they might be too tall for you to even get to by that point. I like to use this tree like I've got it here as just kind of a focal point tree. I can just plant it here, let it go, do its thing. I never, I haven't pruned this thing at all. You might get a wiry limb every once in a while that you have to uh, prune off. But other than that, this is kind of a real plant it and forget it type tree. They love acidic soil, so they do great right around here. Uh, in the springtime, I like to hit it with some holly tone fertilizer. But other than that, once they get established, very drought, drought tolerant and just a super low maintenance, beautiful evergreen tree. I've also seen this utilized as a screening hedge and it does fantastic. Probably plant them somewhere six to seven feet apart and they'll grow together and give you that nice year-round screen if you've got a neighbor maybe you don't want to see all the time. You can plant them either in full sun or part shade. I like them out in full sun but just because it gives you a much denser, bushier tree. If you plant it in part shade, you're going to have some kind of gaps up through the tree where it's kind of stretching for sunlight, so I would recommend full sun. The other thing I like about them too is you get just a real natural Christmas tree kind of shape. Very conical growth and again i haven't pruned this thing at all it's just doing this all on its own and i've got it on a kind of a, a hillside right there as you see so it looks a little bit catawampus but that's just because of the terrain that it's planted on but those beautiful berries i love seeing this thing when i'm driving down the uh, driveway during christmas time it just looks so christmassy and it's loaded with berries and I'm not pruning mine, as I said, I'm just letting it go natural. So you see the leaves are actually touching the ground and that'll just continue to move itself out, um, you know, all around the circumference of the tree. But you could come in here if you wanted to and limit up to get you more of like a standard tree formed holly. But I just absolutely love this tree. One of my favorite hollies of all time, Nellie R. Stevens. So if you're looking for a great screening plant, and just in general, a low maintenance, beautiful winter interest evergreen. Give this guy a try. Thanks for watching. The more you know, the more you grow. See you on the next video.